all my products from my last last haul. I'm gonna put the link up here. Also in this video, I've included how to apply fake lashes and I've like shown you all exactly how I do it. So if you're interested in knowing how I got this makeup look, then please keep watching. With the winter approaching, your skin can get pretty dry and so I'm gonna start off with a moisturizer and this is the one by Nivea. Followed by my Nivea Aftershave Balm as a primer and I'm gonna apply this in my skin till I feel it get a little tacky. That's when you know it's primed. Today's foundation is the L'Oreal True Match foundation which I showed in my last to last haul and this is in the shade Golden Beige. I was really skeptical about the shade but turns out it is pretty much the perfect shade and I'm so happy. It's exactly one shade lighter to my original skin tone and that's exactly what you should be looking for when you're choosing a foundation for yourself. I'm going to be applying a matte liquid lipstick and so a moisturizer for your lips is important. For concealer, I'm using this Instant Age Rewind Eye Eraser by Maybelline and this is in the shade Nude. So I've been using this as my everyday concealer, I'm pretty much falling in love with it. It's amazing to cover your dark circles. I am going to go ahead and buy a shade lighter so I can use it as a highlighter and concealer as well. I'm taking this MAC buffing brush in the number 100 to just give it a really smooth blended look. To set all of it in place, I'm using my new Kick-Ass Setting Powder with this fluffy brush and I'm gonna apply that first on my under eyes and my eye area basically just to set the foundation and concealer so it doesn't crease. And then I'm also gonna set the entire face with a light layer. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm shaping my brows over here with a spoolie. Then with the help of my pack eyebrow kit, I'm using the middle shade here just to fill in the tiny gaps. So when you have an eye look that requires a lot of blending, always set your eyelid with setting powder. It just helps with the process. Next I'm going in with my MAC eyeshadow palette. It's called Burgundy Times 9 and taking this taupe shade here, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to apply this in my crease and just buff it out. This is going to be my transition shade so that the colours look more blended and smooth. Next, with my MAC 217 brush, which is more defined but still a fluffy brush, I'm taking this middle brown shade over here and applying that in my crease. But unlike the transition shade before, this is going to be a little more concentrated in the crease and less buffed out. A lot of y'all had questions about the best blending brushes I use. So here it is, this one's by Faces and I'm taking this burgundy shade here and I'm going to really concentrate it in the crease, also making a V shape in the outer edge of my eye. After I've applied the eyeshadow, I'm also buffing it out and making it a smooth transition as well. I'm also taking it slightly inside my lid like I'm doing over here. Really the key to all these looks being flawless is blending and so I'm taking a clean fluffy brush here and just blending it out. Next with that same burgundy colour, I'm applying it in my lower lash line and also blending that out as well. For my glitter eyeshadow to stick better and look more pigmented, I'm just using my concealer in the inner part of my lid. So the colour I was looking for, I have two options over here, one is by PAC and the other one I'm going to be using is by Ormadi. Basically what you want to look for is a shimmer maroon colour. I'm taking this flat brush MAC 239 and in patting motions I'm going to apply it where I applied my concealer. It looked darker in reality, I have no idea why this looks sort of pink over here but no, this is a dark maroon shimmer. Moving on, I'm taking this shimmer shade over here and applying it in my inner corner and on my brow bone. You know, applying it in the inner corner is like my favourite step because I feel it just opens the eye and makes it look way brighter. Coming to liner, I am so excited to be sharing this with y'all. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liner and it has two sides, one is thicker than the other. And that's what I'm going to be using to make my liner today. Making an outline first and then later filling it in. For my waterline, I'm using the MAC Black Kajal. Next, I'm taking some mascara. This is by MAC. Bold Black Lash is what it's called. 
So over here I have the pack 58 number and I'm using my duo glue. Apply the glue on the lash band and put a little extra on the edges. Let the glue dry for about 30 seconds and bend it inwards while you're doing so. So that way it's molding to your eye shape. Okay, so it was a little complicated to apply it on camera because clearly I had like a small mirror in front. But just bear with me. Start by placing it from up as close to your lashes as possible. And then what I like to do is really hold on to the edges and stick those because those are the most difficult parts to stick in fake lashes. So once you've got those stuck, the rest of it pretty much sticks on its own. Once they're stuck, you can go ahead and push them upwards a little to give it the curl. And it will also join your original lashes with that. Completing that task, I'm going to come back to my face and I'm using my MAC bronzing powder in medium. And just contouring my cheekbones, my nose and, and just the outer part of my face to make it a little more slimmer and uh, give it a little warmth. For blush on, I'm using my MAC blush on. It's called Fleet Fast and it's a really nice pink. I'm using the Wonder Bronze highlighter and this one's called Sun Days. Applying this with my pack 022 brush on the high points of my face. Well, my review on this would be I have had better highlighters than this. Moving on to the last part of this makeup look, it's the lipstick. This is by Sleek. In the number 1041, Vino Tinto is what the name is. So I want to tell you about this lipstick. I did not like the application of it. It was really patchy. And also when it dries, it looks patchy. Though I love this color. And with that, we come to the end of this makeup look.